What is going on? So today I'm going to show you how you can create your very own low poly world earth planet design in Blender in this very beginner, easy, friendly tutorial to follow along. And if you want to see exactly how I did everything, make sure you go and watch this video all the way to the very end. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And now let's get on to it. So here I am in Blender. I'm using version 3.3.1. And let's go ahead and get rid of default cube. Go ahead, click on it, X to delete. And also screencast keys are in the bottom left so you can see what I click and type. And let's do Shift A and let's go to Mesh and let's go ahead and add in an Ico Spear. And I wanna go ahead and let's change these subdivisions and let me zoom in so I can see exactly. And let's go, let's see, here's three, four, and I think four is enough, five might be too much. But yeah, let's do four for now. And then I want to press S, scale it out, make it a little bit bigger. So again, just preference, I'm making it bigger so it's just easier for me to show you and it's just easier to click on. So for, again, you can go less if you wanna have it uh, bigger shapes, but now let's go ahead and tap into edit mode. We can switch to face select and pretty much go ahead and just start selecting some faces and make some shapes that you want to. So. Here I can hold shift and click over here. And then I can even go like down here. Let me go like right there. These shapes right here, go to this other section. Let's go like that. Let's go over here. And right now I'm just randomly selecting uh, some spots on this little world spear shape thing we got going on right here. So again, feel free to go ahead and make your own custom design and for the most part i think that looks good for me but just do remember so i'll press zero to be in camera view that wherever your camera is that's typically what's going to show so ideally you'd have to rotate your uh your spear if you want it to be different so now i just press zero to go back and let's go ahead and looks like i'm upside down yeah okay so now let me get some more stuff right here too and let's see how it looks right now and then i can do Option E or Alt E, depending on your computer, to extrude faces along normals. And let's go and let's just make it, I'm gonna do like a little bit big, like right there. And then before you click anything, Option E or Alt E again, make sure you shoot a funk faces in just a little tiny bit to where you can see there's like that uh, little gap right there. And while we're here, we might as well go ahead and go to the material shadings we can see and it's just gonna be easier on our life. So now while we have everything selected, don't click out yet, either control or command plus, and it selects the next piece, and then again, and then you'll select the next piece right there. So now hit new, and this will be our, ideally this is gonna be like the grass, or soil I should say, first, and then we're gonna do the little grass option next. So I'll go, like this and then what we need to do is hit the plus sign now new change this to a green and we're gonna adjust this later but while we still have the spear selected do command minus or control minus and then only select these two now so we only have these two selected and you might not even be able to see because of the, the the orange color but now we can hit a sign and then when we go back to the material we can see you have it like that so that would just make sure like way easier because if you were to have to manually click everything, that'd be such an annoying thing. And ideally, if you're like, I had my design, I had a custom spot, like let's say like right here. So ideally what you could do is go like this one. You could select everything on the front and then just deselect. So let me just do it like this manually. Select it like this, even over here. And then I do the command plus or control plus and then I can hit the plus sign and change it to like an Arctic top, so like that. And now we have it like this. And if you wanna change the dirt, obviously you'd have to do the plus again, but just keep it like that. And let's go ahead and let me just scale my planet down or my little world down a little bit. And let's press zero now and see how that looks. So go with the camera, do shift asterisk right next to the one or just shift, yeah, little asterisk symbol and then Shift S brings it back. And this basically you can adjust our camera view. 
and now according to our speed let's do rz and let's just rotate and see how it's currently looking right now so i probably want to add some more stuff but let's do rotate it double r and get some action like right there with this white little glacier top and i think let's actually add in the water first i want to see how this looks and you could go manually you know select all this stuff which would be annoying but a cool little thing is you could just do shift a again except this time add in a uh, uv spear you could do ico again but i'm doing uv and then press s to scale it and i'll have it like right about yeah like right about there and you can tell when to stop it based off of the grass and the soil and then if you want to keep it low poly obviously you know don't shade smooth but now i'm just keeping this in the material view right now go to the materials icon and change this to like uh ocean color and don't worry since we're not on the actual render it's gonna look a little bit different but now this is what we got going on so far so what we can do is now start adding in our trees so let's do shift a mesh and again you can go fancy with your trees let's make this very simple and i'll just go with like a cylinder we'll press gx get over here so i can see it and pretty much i can just scale this thing down and depending on how big you want your tree is obviously you can make it smart bigger but let's press the forward slash now so we can get it separate and then we'll tap into edit mode click on the face select make sure the face select selected e to extrude it but press s first so you don't have to actually extrude and then just E Z up like this, just like that. Make sure we have Z selected. And if you like this tree, you wanna have it like this, feel free, but I'm gonna do is just press M and basically collapse. And now we got this little tree. And I could technically select this and scale that in too, but I have to first off do Shift Z, select this inner piece then scale that in. And let's see, keep it like right about here and Shift Z. And now we just have a tree. Again, it's very basic, but not too important on the design. If you want to make it more fancy, use a different uh, method, feel free. But now we have the object. Let's go ahead and add the colors in now so that we can save some time. And I'll just select this and just, let's see. Let's do Shift-Z, just make it easier. Shift-Z, select it. Let's press 1. And let's zoom in over here real quick. Press 1, select it like that. And technically I have to select all of it because um, I'm going new and just make this a green color and assign it. And then I can just select the trunk plus new and like a dark brown like that. Eh, a little bit darker, yeah, there we go. Sign, tab out, shift Z, there we go. Got a tree. All right, so this tree looks a little bit too wide. So let's do SZ to scale it up a little bit. There we go, and then scale by itself just like that and now this green might be a little too bright so i want to make it a little darker so we can it's not as visible on the uh the grass and in order for us to make it where we don't have to sit here and manually like rotate it and scale it we can just hit the snap tool and there's ways you can do this with particles it makes it way more complex for this design but uh um, let's go snap face project and make sure we have um move and rotate and then basically now if i move this let's do option d or alt d and we also let me escape real quick command see that also make sure it's align rotation target all right so now we do option d or alt d and check this out let me go zoom out real quick it's probably easier to see it now so now let's put them up and let me move this one should not be here go like that there we go option d again and i'm doing link duplicates so that way if i were to change the color of this for example it changes over here too just to, in case you're wondering why i'm not doing shift d instead option d and basically go crazy and just cover your world with trees and then we can continue there so i'm going to go ahead and just start putting some more trees here go over here some right there and for the sake of this tutorial, it's not necessary for me to go in and do the entire thing because I'm only gonna show you this part of my world. But if you obviously are making this yourself and you wanna do like a rotation, definitely uh, keep it to where it's 
you know, showing everywhere. So let me see why is this not turning. All right, this one's acting a little weird. So I only have to do it on these front faces too. So just keep in mind, if you're only doing it like how I'm showing it just for the photo aspect, then definitely just focus on that and worry about the backside later. But now we got some trees here and pretty much that's what we got going on. All right, so now press zero again. Here I wanna put a uh, shifty now, GX, take off the snap real quick. And then I can go here to get rid of this material. And now I can just hit new and just make this like a pure white. It's already technically white there. And then I can do snapping again, shift D, and then put some of these little glacier trees up. Let me get out of camera real quick. Put them like right here. And now we have like a little different, different aspect on our design. There we go. And then you can press zero, and that's what we got so far, so good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add additional things. So let's do a house. Very basic, let's do shift A, mesh, cube, GX over here. And before we do continue, let's select these two. And let's, one. okay, so this one's the first one. We can name it, you can say like green tree in case you wanna make it easier. And then this one is going to be at the bottom down here. This will be white tree so now you could keep them in render but i want to make sure or i'll viewport but i want to make sure i have these deselected renders whenever i actually make the image or animation it's not showing but hold up yeah here no not icosphere i'm bad where's my white tree oh there you go white tree keep icosphere that's the earth piece thing we got going on or whatever point you're making and now we have our cube here let's probably go back up here and also, if you want to get rid of this and put these in your collections, like these cylinders, you can go scroll down, shift click, select, press uh, M, new collection, call this one the trees, hit OK. Now that way we have it like way more organized and if I, I wanted to make them visible, I can just do it like that. So now we got this cube here. Scale this bad boy down. And first things first, let's go one. Tab in edit mode, GZ. And move it to where the origin is right here because when we start to do the snapping I want it let me take a snap out real quick I want it to where the things actually touching the bottom so now we go tab back in object mode tap and edit again and then uh, technically we can go to the face select easy extrude it up so make sure Z straight and then edge select select these two right here and press M and basically you can say collapse and now we get a little Little house, but well, we can make this even more fancy. You can go here, select this, Alt E, Option E, whichever one works for you, and then go here. And I can select this, this, this one right here. Let me zoom in this one right here. Zoom in over here, this one, and this one, Option E or Alt E, faces, and boom. Now we got a little house going like that. And I think this bottom might be too tall. So I'll go here, GZ, move it up. Yeah, like that. And then A to select it, press one, GZ back down. While we're still in edit mode, so we got the origin, the orange dot still there. And we can actually add some loop cuts. So let's do uh, Command R or Control R. Let's press two here, escape. Where's that, escape. And then Command R, Control R again. And we have it like this. And technically, if you want to, you could add like a details outside, but I'm gonna go like this. I didn't set it. And then basically E to shoot it in a little bit. And then I can might as well um, press A, select all, new. And then we have right now our white design. I'm gonna keep it. Select here the door, plus new. Make it like a brown, dark brown door or whatever color you wanna make. And then for the roof, select it like this. And then these two by holding shift, click. Command plus or control plus, and then control plus again, and then control plus one more time to get the, uh, the bottoms. And I like the red, so I'll go here. New, red, assign. Boom. Tap it out. And we got a very basic house. And now, change this real quick. Say red house and make sure render is not showing this one particularly and i can probably scale this down a little bit more 
undo the trees that way I know exactly where I'm placing this put our uh, snap back on click option D or alt D and now go ahead and let's see how it's facing uh, let's see what's going on here so let's see G and let's make sure it's putting it on the actual surface yeah it looks like it's there so you might have to actually go and rotate it individually after it's so like um, press R and even like G Z Z to go in again it's up to you but um, now put snap back on and go back to zero so we're gonna see this view and let's do option D again put it like right take out zero again G and try to move this one up like right here you can see it like that and then I want to make another one so I'll do shift D GX and click on this one now tab in edit mode hit this X key to unlink the data new go here and go like orange and tab back out so now I can say this one is orange house and then one thing is I accidentally have the linked non red I should have undone that so let me go back again undo this make sure you can see these but make sure let's undo this first let's do option D or alt D now we got it and then we can select the main house and take out the render here technically we can just hide these by itself yeah let's just hide these both boom like this and okay there we go so now we got it right here and we can go ahead and do the same thing zero and see it puts them right here so let's go there again G and let's move it like here let's see how that looks right there and then option D again move one like right there and then take off snap tool RZ Z double Z basically and then go like this and then we can do G and just try to move it like that see how that looks let's probably put the snap tool back on G and just put it right there all right there we go now zero looking like this so far and this would be like the render view so it looks a little bit better than this like shade material and let's go ahead and make this save so file save as save real quick so went ahead and saved it and let's go ahead and do shift a mesh cube GX like this forward slash scale this bad boy down s X like this one command or tab edit mode command R control R loop in the middle and then loop cut let's do like five right here and then we can add one in the middle as well and now I can do seven I can go here and shift Z and let's see we got this piece that I want to select let me just shift you back out let's do this one and this line and then this line this line go to seven and basically scale it out to like some sort of shape like that and then we could technically go back to vertice mode select technically it's like all five of these first scale it out on the Y make it a little bit wider and then select these three scale Y like this and I want to keep this very simple like that and I think did I not do um, should have done wireframes so let me command Z control Z again shift Z now let's make sure we have everything selected now select S Y scale it like this select these three S Y scale it like that tab out shift Z okay yeah there we go and then I can option or alt select this line double G to move it up like right here face select option select here Alt E or Option E to extrude it, and there we go. And then we can select these faces here. Well, actually, yeah, just these guys, not that extra piece. And then pretty much I do and set it in first because we are right here on the edge, and then E to extrude it down. Press one, Shift Z, G Z, move it down like that, and scale it a little bit like that. There we go. And it looks like the boat part isn't the perfectly. So let's do SZ0. And then technically I can select um, this piece and this piece. Double G it up. 
a little bit see how that looks so yeah not perfect but we can select these pieces here and do like GZ down and there we go a little basic shape right here and now you can make this into a little canoe a giant boat but a cool thing I just made it was like I went um, shift a mesh cube GX bring it all the way the cues always in the center so yeah GX again scale it down zoom in scale it even more GX like this let's see where it's at and then tap edit mode select this G Z move it up control R command R loop cuts Add another loop cut right there. Face select all of these by pressing Option. Just these four insets. Tie, double eyes. Have it like this. E. Actually no. Command Z. Option E along faces, and then make little windows like that. There you go. And then Option E or Alt E again, and then extra long faces. There we go, and then we can select this guy and do G, Z, move it up like that. It's up to you. You don't have to add this part, but now I just got this basic boats, and then we can go here, let's save real quick, new, and then I can select tab edit mode, option or alt E, and then also add a plus to get this piece right there. Change this to whatever color. Well, first off, yeah, this is the original boat color, so white. Make sure it's white. And then I hit plus, new, red. And then what should be red? Updates. And then this one, tab, click on this one. Tab edit mode. Click on the top, plus until you have all these selected. So we got selected here. New. First off, this will be the main color. And then plus, new, red. Assign. Should be more red this and then plus again and then select all these windows and this one will be like a you can make this like a glass if you want to I'm just gonna make it just light blue boom there you go with the little boats and then click here then shift click here on the boats command pair control P object parent there we go so now forward slash s to scale this guy down Option D, GX, move it. Select this guy. So this will be the um, boats. And then this will be part of the boat as well, which is going to be in here. Boat piece. And I can select this to be not visible in the render. So now we've got this guy. Option D, move him here. Snap it. And let's go ahead and let's make sure why is he not snapping? What's going on? Facebook, yeah. yeah should be there but um yeah let me try this again oh there we go so now we got the boats s to scale it up you can make like a big giant cruise ship you want to and then g move it around and then you can rotate it accordingly so now you can do option g or option d again command z actually select both first and then option d and then move them around and again since this is only gonna be like right here i'll keep them like that and then for slash or zero again and let's just leave off with the plane thing so let's go here i'll just close this one out here same thing here where is it at i don't even know why this is not showing it's part of my boat i think that's why which is lovely this one right here yep okay there we go so now last one which make like a basic plane gx s to scale down like this sx here boom tab let's do probably let's do like four maybe five let's do five loop cuts escape loop cut in the middle actually let's do two loop cuts in the middle scale it down or we'll scale z there you go and then let's go ahead and just select these now you can make like a mirror and make this like a way fancier model but we can keep it like that option alt d shoot face along normals there we go and then go to seven and I want to select these pieces with these vertices like this scale it on the 
should be the X, yep. And then GX, move it back like that. And then we got a little square plane. <laughs> now let's go ahead and um, add some more stuff. So I can go here, here, and we can do extrude it again. I can click on edge select here, double G, move it down. Same thing, double G, keep this down. You could technically go here on um, the front view, go like this, scale it on the Y a little bit. Same thing here, scale Y, and shift Z again. And then I can select here, here, and here, press I. I can do double, either we have just like a full window. And then we can go ahead and for the back piece, let's go here, double G down, and this one, double G up. And I don't make this too crazy, but uh, let's just keep it very, very basic. So let me go seven, shift Z, select it, scale it in like that. Tab back out, shift Z. And then let's do face select. And let me just select these pieces and then this piece, option E, all these orange faces are like normals. And now we just have like this crazy looking piece right here. This guy can go up, you know, it can scale down if you wanted to like that. And again, feel free, I'm not a plain enthusiast model, but let's do S, Y, scale them out. And for the most part, I don't spend too much time on that part, but basically you gotta get it as a plane and then you can select like these pieces right here. These pieces, double G, go down. Looks like the back side selected too, but I'll keep it for now. And then like even these pieces here and here, double G. And I have my snap up, that's why everything's messing up. Yeah, double G like that. Same thing with these, double G. Double G up, should be going, hold on. Double G down like this. This one, double G. And same here, click this. Double G down, double G up. Yeah. Like this, and click your double G down. And this one, double G up. And again, you can get fancy with this. Looks like this one got a little messed up, but um, no big deal, you guys can go ahead and play around with that. And lastly, we can like make this front piece smaller by selecting this, scaling it in even more, and even this piece here, scaling it in like that. So super low poly, nothing fancy, and then we can just go new, and basically make this white first, plus tab edit mode, select this face here, make this, uh, little blue so let's go here new click blue assign and then these back pieces i'm gonna do click that one plus here make a plus new red assign and then even here plus shift click here plus actually no command z let's do this first one and then shift click these manually because it seems like it's not working properly. Click here, assign, boom. Got this crazy looking plane, four slash. Now we can just scale this down, like right about here. And then, technically you can make these pieces spread out, but I ain't gonna spend too much time on this plane. It's not a plane modeling video, but here, let's go plane. And then, zero looks like this. So let's do option D. Move it, double R, rotate it, scale it down a little bit, and scale it a little bit more than that. And now we can press one, or escape, let's press one. Scale it up, double R, this right above. And let's do R, double Z, rotate it. That way it's easier to see it. Go like this, and now we have our little plane going on like that. And move it like this, probably like right there, double R. R Z Z, boom. Now I got a plane. I feel free to make it better looking. And then basically you can add clouds by making um, just a bunch of ico spears. Oh wait, hold on. X three. Shift A mesh. 
I go spear and make it like two segments and G and then scale it down and then just shift D scale these up you can tap in edit mode press O proportional editing and then you know basically like customize them like that and then O O out tab edit mode shift D shift D again scale it down and then just basically just copy these and then you know adjust the uh, rotation and even the uh, the look by going edit mode pressing O and G and moving it like that and again, feel free to get fancy with that stuff. But now let me show you how I made this little uh, render. So we go shift A, light, sun, G, Z. I just kept this one at two. And then I did another sun by doing shift A, light, sun, G, Z, R, 180. So now that sun's facing, let's do one, R. Let's make sure it's like this. Press zero. Looks like it's not facing fully straight. All right, there we go. So let's do, yeah, I'm not sure why it's, hold on. Go like this, three, right there. Okay, there we go, now it's fully facing. This will be a two. Go to zero, shift A, mesh, add a plane, scale it up, quite large. GZ it down until the shadow of the light is gone. Then scale it up, max. And then now you can go here and make it like a blackish color. And then if you wanted to, you can press seven, shift A, lights, points, GX, one like here, put this at like 300 and press zero. So now we have a light here. Press seven, shift D, GX back here. Make this like a cool purple. So now I got this cool purple look. Shift D, move one over here, zero. This could be like a, even like a pinkish red look and then seven, shift D, Y, like right here, press zero, click first, press zero, select your light and make this like a yellowish, like a sun look. And then pretty much adjust this, add more stuff. And if you wanna see how I did the animations, I'll include the link in the description below on how to do like a curve path. You can go to cycles if you wanted to, EV for this very low poly, and then pretty much go here, type in your file name, whatever you want to name it, and then choose the um, location, PNG, RGB. If you're making a photo, metadata, everything's fine. Keep that for now. And then just go up here, render, render image, and then make sure we have everything. So zoom out. And it's basically how we made the low poly world. Planet design. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.